Hi everybody, yeah. how are you doing? <laughs> Let's start off with a nice easy question. Any Lyft drivers in the house, Uber drivers? Yeah, oh right, front row, this is great. You get a lot of crazy people in your car? Uber Eats, so this isn't applicable at all. <laughs> uh, I get a lot of aspiring rappers in my car. Yeah, all of whom tell me how successful they are, don't buy that, that's a lie. Because if you really think about it, if you're really taking over the rap game, why am I dropping you out of Supercuts? <laughs> I wasn't even getting a haircut, his mom just fucking works there. <laughs> Statistically not baller, okay? Uh, they're not the worst though, they're pretty average and on the scale of passengers. Bottom of the pack, people who ask for the auxiliary cord. <laughs> or as I like to call it, Russian roulette with music. I'm serious, the other day some dude got in my car for the whole ride, put on white noise. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? In a really serious way. The whole time I just kept thinking, please don't be a Terminator. Please don't be a Terminator. <laughs> nice, you guys are very well kept up on your 80s sci-fi. I'm very impressed with you. Um, the one thing all of these Lyft driver passengers have in common, let me ask you this way. Do you guys think I sound like Vince Vaughn at all? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, we got some split things. Yeah. I was hoping for a definitive answer, yes. but I'll, I'll take yeah. a split thing. I, yeah. Every single passenger asked me to do an impression of Vince Vaughn, and I never know how to respond, right? Because it's like, what am I going to say? That's exactly what I'm going for. It's very strange, right? But regardless, they always ask me, please do an impression. And I say every time, I apologize if I don't seem eager to jump into a forced, awkward situation people like to call impressions. You know, I don't like the feeling. You're wondering, do I have food on my face? Am I talking too fast? Am I not talking fast enough? Are they enjoying it? Are they interested? Am I interested? Do I want to be interested? I'm not really interested, but now they're interested, so all of a sudden I'm starting to get interested. And when do I stop the impression, right? Do I make some distance between us so it doesn't get awkward? Like, well, good night. This is the end of the impression, or do I not end it at all? It's very difficult to read the situation. And all the while, I'm just wondering, are we gonna get hopped up enough to play a game I like to call, give me a fucking tip? This is very hard to memorize. Lots of watches through, okay? That was a little tangent there. This was a very long-winded way of saying, I need a new job. Very badly. Anybody looking for a job? Don't you raise your hand. I know your job. Uh, I mean, it's not going well, by the way, at all. It's going horribly. Uh, I get rejected from every job for the exact same reason, quote, lack of experience. As if I did not already fucking know that, right? And the most annoying part is when I respond with, I'm not, I don't have experience because no one will hire me, they respond with, right, due to lack of experience. It makes me feel like I'm a virgin all over again, you know what I mean? But like, keep that on the deal, because I'll never get hired if people know I'm still a virgin. <laughs> I'm not a virgin, but I'm not gonna lie, if you heard me talk dirty, you'd think I was a virgin. <laughs> I'm very, very, very bad at it. Sometimes, so, sometimes I get worried I'm addicted to validation purely based on how often I just ask, yeah, do you like that? Does anybody else ask that? Help me, help me, who asked that? You do? God damn it. We can maybe be friends. How's that going for you? Does it work? Does it, does it get you going? <laughs> it definitely doesn't work for me either. But I also can't. The problem here is that I'm too self-aware and I could never take myself seriously enough to do anything above that. You know, because that's child's play. I'm not trying to embarrass you, but we're in, a, we're in the triple A's here. There are many leagues above that. I don't know anything about baseball. Hopefully there are more leagues above the triple A. Uh, seriously though, like, for instance, there's role playing. I could never do that. You know? uh, like for, uh, I don't want to be a delivery guy during the day. Why would I want to be a delivery guy when I fuck? That makes no sense to me. Also, have you ever ordered anything from UPS? Those guys are not the studs that the girls are looking for. They're like Jared Priest Subway, they are not sexy, they got the shorts. It's bad, dude. And that's just, that's a standard, that's a standard role playing thing, right? It goes way more intense. Like my roommate, he has girls call him dad. <laughs> that, is, that just went from occupational fantasy to illegal incest in one jump. Just right there. Nobody thinks this is creepy. Does anybody else call, have them themselves call daddy? Say no. <laughs> right? And it's weird. I'll put it to you like this. Have you ever seen a girl, guys, and thought, ooh, Sorry. I want to make her my daughter later? <laughs> 
So I told I pitched this whole thing. I pitched this whole thing to my roommate, right? And just to steer him away from the whole daddy thing, because I don't want him to go to jail. You know what I mean? And apparently, respectful peer isn't a sexy enough replacement. But I'm working on it. You know? uh, all right, so I gotta go. But I have one question before I go. I have this problem. I can't tell if I'm an asshole or if I'm very perceptive. You know what I mean? So I go to a rock climbing gym, right? Okay? Very small parking lot. I can never find parking. It kind of bugs me. So the other day I went and checked out the parking lot. Full, looks empty because out of the 20 spots, eight of them are handicapped. Yeah, right. Like, how the fuck are there going to be eight handicapped spots at a 20 person climbing gym? <laughs> Have you seen Professor X climb? He wouldn't even be able to convince you in his mind that he could climb. Okay? Am I an asshole? All at once. No! Okay. I'm out of here. But remember, I'm a good guy.